Hey, Murphy. Hey, Kenya. We're stuck in the house. We're on quarantine. What are we going to do? I don't know. Why are you asking me? I'm just a turtle. I don't know. Oh, hey, everybody. It's me, Kenya. Welcome to Party Entrepreneur Drive, 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 Drive. Are you stuck in the house right now because your child's daycare or school has closed and you're wondering, oh my goodness, what am I going to do to keep myself from going crazy and to keep my kids productively occupied and busy during this time, whether it's a couple of weeks or who Lord knows who, how long? Well, I've got some resources on hand for you, and if you find them helpful, make sure you share them with a friend. Also, make sure you give this video a thumbs up to let YouTube know what a fine job I'm doing and to let me know that you like videos like this. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. So, a quick Google search will probably give you results on what to do at home with kids. Depending on what your search history is, you may get th different things that I have got, but I would like to share with you some of the items that I have found um, to pass the time during this very critical time of social distancing and self-quarantine. We're all trying our best to stay healthy, and here are some of the ideas that I have come up with. So, you guys remember the Scholastic Book Fair? Well, Scholastic has just come out with a um, an actual website for your child. So if you have internet access at home and you're able to get your child online, they can go to this uh, website right here. It's called classroommagazines.scholastic.com. If you go to the website here, you will see that it is broken down by um, grade level, so you've got things for pre-K and kindergarten, uh, things for grades one and two, grades three through five, grades six and above. It says here, um, Scholastic Learn at Home, day-by-day -day projects to keep kids reading, thinking, and growing. Welcome, even when schools are closed, you can keep the learning going with these special cross-curricular journeys. Every day includes four separate learning experiences, each built around a thrilling, meaningful story or video. Kids can do them on their own, with their families, or with their teachers. Just find your grade level and let the learning begin. And uh, my daughter is in junior high, so she's 13, so I was looking around in the sixth grade and above. And... From the looks of it, it has things broken down so that the child will have an opportunity to read some things, watch a video, and do some critical thinking skills. So for example, here, day one, meet a teen changing how the world views disabilities in celebrating differences. Um, plus, check out how these artists make clothes at camouflage, that camouflage, think about it, what's the future of zoos, and discover how your favorite emoji was made. So just right here, day one, we've got this young lady right here this person in this camouflage outfit, um, somebody here looking at a giraffe and in the emojis. So we've got some, some discovery things going on, some critical thinking skills, what if, why, how does this work, types of things, and then some things um, over here on the side with some graphic design and uh, social media type of stuff. Day two, get to know a new canine companion in Robot Dog versus Real Dog. How Television Changed America, Search for a Monster, How Well Do You Know You, and then it goes on down day three, day four, day five, and it says stay tuned, 15 more days of thrilling learning journeys are ahead. This website was developed specifically for this shutdown period during this pandemic, so I am expecting to see more things from this site. Make sure you uh, bookmark this page. I will be putting the link in the description, and you can keep updated as they are I'm adding new things there. When I checked out this article on Wired, how to entertain your young children during a quarantine, most of us that have small children at home have some type of toys, games, or devices that they can play with. Um, here are some quick ideas. We got the classic Legos. Uh, we've got the old-fashioned can, and I don't know about that, the old-fashioned can on a string. Um, they were actually bringing some... <laughs> up to date. I don't know why this is making me laugh so much that can on the string, but there were actually some 
up-to-date ideas on ways that your children can stay entertained and stay in communication with their friends, keep up their social life and their socializing, their socializing while they are stuck indoors. If you have a Facebook portal, that's something that you're probably already familiar with. I didn't know what it was until now. It looks like this is some type of monitor device that if you have Facebook, um, you can stay in contact with people. There's also the WhatsApp, there's Zoom, there's Skype. There's different ways that your um, children can keep in contact with their friends. Um, even though they're not able to physically be in contact with them. There's things like playing outside still is available as an uh, option if you have any type of yard space or outdoor space where your kids can still get fresh air and get sunlight. Um, it's encouraged here, uh, it's, it's advised here to let your children play outside. Just make sure you explain to them the importance of no touching and trying to find ways to interact with their friends without being up in each other's faces and or doing things that are exchanging um, those types of uh, germs and viruses. Let's see, playing outside, have a dance party. Um, there's some items on here that are pretty much uh, encouraging consumerism. So a lot of people are probably going to be ordering on Amazon and other online places right now anyways, because we don't want to go out to stores or maybe there's not anything available at the store. So this particular article, I will leave the uh, link in the description as well. These are all affiliate links, but they're not mine, but these are just products that you may be interested in um, incorporating into your household if your budget allows so that you and your kids can have um, some fun. If you have smaller children like toddlers, According to this article, which conveniently has a potty for sale, potty training would be a great time to focus on right now. I know I remember as a parent, I wanted to get my kids potty trained quickly as possible so I could stop spending so much money on diapers and just, you know, not deal with the inconveniences of having to change diapers. But uh, since a lot of our kids are going to be at home and we may be at home too, this is like the perfect time to potty train in a nice and relaxed manner we're gonna be home anyways if you don't have a potty and you don't want to go out and or you cannot purchase one on your own um, you can get one online again these are not my affiliate links but um, this may be something you may be interested in something about pillaging a closet not really sure what that's about uh, looks like some arts and crafts things that you can come up with on your own collages origami uh, making forts paper rolls swords you know when you run out of those paper towels don't throw away the cardboard uh let's see paper dresses what uh, small children seem to find um, unlimited ideas of things to do with paper and crafting and so this might be a great time to let them you know cut up some magazines just do things that they probably wouldn't normally do because we're just trying to pass the time in a fun and productive way there's the legos again and yes now, one other interesting thing that I found on this website was an article on um, is it appropriate to talk to your children about the COVID virus? According to this pediatric anxiety specialist um, on how to talk about COVID-19, they emphasize that you should only talk about COVID-19 if your child asks. Otherwise, they won't listen anyways. For small children, being separated from their parents is scarier than some abstract concept like sickness or death, and that you should emphasize that adults are here to protect them and that you, their adult, um, knows how to protect themselves. You know, mommy knows how to protect herself. Daddy's okay, mommy's okay. Find fun ways to teach them about good habits to give them a sense of control. For example, you could turn hand washing into a game. Uh, find, an, find an illustration of how to broach the subject with a child who has potentially overheard a scary uh, subject or fact on what's going on. This is a possible script. Uh, there's an illness going around and everybody's being really careful and so are we. When we get home, let's talk about what we can do to be helpful. So you're giving them information to empower themselves so that they feel in control of the situation. Okay, so from another website that I came across, Deseret.com, um, I'll leave the link to this as well in the description. Ideas on things to do with your kids at home, learning at home, we've already, go, already gone over that. Uh, talked about the Scholastic website, so keeping learning as a regular event is 
probably the number one thing that they need and something that will be helpful so that they will be fresh and ready to go back to school. And let's see what else we got here. If you're already on YouTube, you probably already know about Khan Academy. If you do not know, Khan Academy is a channel on YouTube where you can find uh, different subjects to be tutored on, whether it's math or science and some other subjects. It says here in this article, the Khan Academy created a template for a schedule that parents can use to help their children stay focused and learn at the same time. The schedule begins with breakfast and getting ready, like making lunch, uh, much like a traditional day, and then jumping into online learning. From there, work in some recess and reading time before taking a break, allowing for a snack, give your child some writing practice, lunch, and then some time with the family before sending them off to bed. Uh, let's see what else we got. Encouraging a routine is really important. So whatever schedule that your that your child or children were on before they were stuck at home, try to keep that same schedule. Waking up at the same time, eating breakfast at the same time. If they made their lunches for school, make them for later on in the day. Learning at the same at the same time, um, eating dinner at the same time, going to bed at the same time. There are also some tips from PBS, which has created a daily newsletter that will offer activity ideas and tips you can use. So let's jump over there and check that out. So according to the website here, you will have to create a small account and or log in. It says here, is your child's school closed due to coronavirus concern? PBS Kids new weekday newsletter offers activities and tips you can use to help kids play and learn at home. Sign up here. I'll make sure I leave this link in the description as well. If you're able to make it out to places like the dollar store or Walgreens, you can find cheap things like sticker books, work on puzzles and art supplies, maybe even let your children help with cooking. My daughter, who has been pretty obsessed with me stocking up on ice cream lately, I should probably encourage her that she can find an ice cream, homemade ice cream recipe online or her favorite cake or cookie um, recipe online. We do have the items in the pantry. And if you don't, you know, maybe check around. You can find some of the basics, flour, salt, sugar, uh, yeast, I think for ice cream, all you need is like the flavoring, milk, salt, and ice cubes. So that might be a fun project and also a way to help them stay involved with the uh, daily chores. Grab a tablet, consider play dates, write letters. Wow, now that's a throwback idea. Um, since we can't see some of the people that we would like to see, maybe we can spend time writing letters. If your child has access to their friend's addresses or maybe their numbers, they can you know, text them what's your address. I will write you a letter. Maybe they can send some cool things through the mail. Overall here it says, don't worry. Look, your children are gonna be home with you for a foreseeable future. Don't worry if you schedule a Netflix day or movie marathon. Maybe you only have half a day of education. That's fine too. Of course, with the most perfectly planned schedule, you will still have days when you just can't muster the energy to come up with even the simplest activity. Instead, let them watch another episode of their favorite show. Um, that's okay too. Do what you need to do to get through the day. Do you have any ideas or plans already of what you are going to be doing with your children and loved ones while we're practically on lockdown right now? Let me know in the comment section below so that we can all check out what's going on in the comments and maybe someone has come up with an idea that someone else hadn't thought of and we can all stay relaxed, um, happy, active, and having fun while we are in the house hope you enjoyed this video hope it was helpful in some way if so make sure you share it with someone that can use it um, make sure you give it a thumbs up it lets youtube know what a fine job i've been doing if you haven't done so already please consider subscribing most of my videos will be in the sphere of business entrepreneurship mental health and wellness and uh, daily Bible readings. So if you're gonna be here in the mornings, check me out 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, speaking of mental health and wellness, I think one important thing we can all do is breathe. Realize that not everything is in our control right now. Once we relinquish that, do the best we can do with what we have. Do the best with what you can, with what you have. Practice self-care. Take some time to meditate. Meditation is good for kids too. Hey, little Billy, little Susie, 
Let's let's practice some some quiet time right now. Let's see who let's play the quiet game and see who can stay quiet the longest. Maybe we can do some, you know, self massages or maybe you can massage mommy's back or daddy's back. You know, maybe I'll rub your feet. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. There's some self-guided relaxation videos on YouTube where when it all becomes a little bit too much, you can, you know, sit back and just give your body and your psyche and your soul a break. If you want to do some praying and some Bible reading, check me out. 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. Other than that, be safe, be healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to follow me on social media. Now, let me know what you think about this next upcoming video.